Hello everyone, I'm Fork Sapper and welcome back to the survey. <laughs> A game that is really scaring the poops out of me and I don't want to play it. I don't want to play it. I don't even want to take a step outside. I keep finding myself hiding in this room. And I do not like it. Of course there had to be someone. And I can't, I can't hide. That's just great. Why, why won't, why won't you let me hide now? Please don't come close. Please don't. I don't know where to hide. Don't come near, don't come near, don't come near. Oh god, this is this is not fun. This is not fun. Why get this to me? Why? The I'm dead, aren't I? <laughs> what happened? Why did that happen? I didn't know where to hide. Is this broken now? Okay, so I died. And now I'm hearing that as I'm getting up. I don't know what this means. 89264. Why are you telling me this? Okay. Everything's fine so far. Whoa. Okay. You do that? Why is that happening? Whoa. Why is that a thing now? I don't know if I should look for all of them and start messing with them. Okay. Don't panic. I know there's another one in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to mess with that. But I'm going to anyway. I was just thinking to myself, like, when is this... Like, I feel like that's important for some reason. And next you know, bam, it's just... Getting all staticky. What does this mean? Okay. I know that there was one in here too. Where did the statue go? Okay. Don't mind me. Is this still yeah, it's still flickering bad. Okay. Just that one. Hopefully there's no particular order. A2964. Eight two nine six four. I gotta repeat that because I'm just gonna forget afterwards and I'm gonna panic. And I do not want to panic. There I go. Eight two nine. And I just need six and four. Six, I think it's up in here. Yeah. Six. And I don't know what that's gonna spell out because there's uh, letters that are next to it. There we go. I did it. And <laughs> that's funny. 82964. Wait, 89264? Oh, damn it. I had it wrong. <sighs> damn it. 89264. That's just great. I done goofed. How come these aren't going back where they were, though? Eight, nine, two, six, four. There he goes. Okay. So, eight. Eight, eight is, um, <laughs> I forgot where that's at. 
Oh yeah, here. Eight nine two six four. Eight nine two six four. I should have been listening to the thing, but I thought I had it memorized in my head, and I, I messed up. I messed the bed. Okay, so eight nine. I wonder what it's spelling. Eight nine two six four. Eight nine two six four. Okay, so two's over there, and six is downstairs, and then I have to come back up. Please don't let anything scary happen. Ugh. That static is real. But we're almost done. And I think we'll finally get that door open. And I'm not looking forward to see what's in there. Okay. Here goes the last one. This door should open up, I think. Okay. Got that open. Okay, relieved to know that there's nothing in here. Creepy, except for that. There's a chance there's something in there. Let's see what this says. The screaming, the crying. Can he hear? Can he hear it top? For eternity, I have lived for one, and for one more, I shall live on. Trapped inside these memories with the devil himself. Okay, that's that's great to know. Oh boy, can I open this? Okay, I was worried there was going to be something in here that, that was going to be scary. Luckily, that's not the case. Huh. And then, of course, that happens. Where? Oh, okay, I'm looking at the wrong place. That's my bad. Okay. Let's see. Um, this one? Yes, it is. Okay. May 16, 2015. I can't move. Today, I woke up and I can't really explain it, but my right hip just feels extremely stiff. I try to get out of bed, but I can barely turn my body without feeling pain. Update. My parents took me to the hospital, just in case it was severe or life-threatening, but staff seem to be clueless as to what I actually have. They said they will need to complete further x-rays, possibly even use an MRI, in order to verify their diagnosis. Hopefully I won't have to paint or anything. Ugh. I also had a really weird dream. I was alone in the house with Marcus, but for some reason he was always afraid of me. Every time I would try to get close to him, he would run away in fear. It was such a weird dream. Because in a way, it felt like it lasted forever. Lilith. Huh. Unusual. Indeed. When the paintings fell. That's... That's not a good sign, is it? Okay, but it's fine. We're getting through this like a champ. Eh? Okay. Let's find out where that came from. Pretty sure that's downstairs. Well, ain't this a lovely sight? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I don't want to look at it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, it's these things. Okay, it's a note. Two notes. Right, let's check that one out. Oops. Okay, got it wrong. So, let me grab them and do them in the right order. Okay. That sound doesn't sound nice. And I'm gonna have to read through. Okay, I got this. May 17th, 2015. My parents took Lilith to the hospital after my sister said she felt immobile around her hip. She said it felt completely stiff, as if... All the muscles surrounding her hip had turned to bone. The other day, Dad threw me downstairs because Lilith's paintings weren't selling as much as they used to. He thought it was an entertaining way to encourage her to paint better, as he phrased it. I dislocated my shoulder on the way down. After repositioning the joint back into my socket, 
I made a sling with some old rags, found it in the closet. It still sings, stings, but it should heal within a few weeks to a couple of months. School isn't too bad. I'm working on this little project with some of my friends. We're trying to create our own braking system for a car, something that can be controlled remotely. I wonder if I can reverse engineer it to do the opposite task and maybe cancel the braking system remotely. That would be an interesting challenge. As long as I don't have to stay home, right? Marcus. Man. <clears throat> Alright, so now the other one. May 18th, 2015, to the Walker family. We have some difficulty in regards to diagnosing your daughter's specific condition, but we have concluded that it is fibrodysplasia of... <laughs> I can't read it. But you get the idea. It is a very rare but severe condition where the patient's soft tissue, when repaired, becomes ossified, basically turning into bone. This is due to a mutation in the repair mechanism of the body that results in this condition. There are treatments of options to slow down the process of the condition, but I admit the future looks fairly grim. In all honesty, this is what will eventually happen. The disease will spread throughout her body, until most of her soft tissue, including ten tendons, uh, ligaments, or ligaments, and even muscles, will become ossified. The most we can do is provide medication in order to relieve the pain, but other than that, the condition has always been fatal. Your daughter might be able to make it to the age of 40, if she is lucky. Please let us know what direction you would like to take. Thank you for your patience, Dr. Gammon. That... That is not sounding good. The crying... Stopped? That's great. Now, is this thing gonna work? It's still not working. Hero. Nothing. Beh. <laughs> Nothing else happening. What if I turn on TV? Nope, it's dead. And so far. Okay, I'm not gonna get another hint until like way later. And it's fine. Totally fine <laughs> by me. So I don't know what else to do from here. I guess I could go. Though I forgot about that. Do I even want to look at it? Nope. I don't want to directly look at it. <laughs> All the paintings fall. All of them fell. But what else is there to do here? Yeah, so far I got nothing. I guess the other thing would be to look around and find any more notes that might be around. Nothing else in here. That's got nothing too. But man, I gotta tell you, it's hard playing this game without feeling like creeped out. Like, I can't be calm about it. I mean, I'm, in a way, I am calm, but not to the point of, uh, of like feeling like, like I'm so chill that this is not scaring me. You know? <sighs> According to a recent poll, infidelity is at an all-time high. I can't turn it off. This may be due to marrying too young, lack of commitment, or even financial instability. Let us examine the story of Joseph and Mary Walker, the two married and bore a daughter, Lilith, who was very talented in many artistic mediums, especially in painting. Joseph and Mary also had a son named Marcus. Joseph worked as a construction worker, while Mary worked as a secretary for a local business. Soon after discovering Lilith's talents, her parents encouraged her greatly to continue and perfect her skills. Eventually, a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the Walkers to become financially stable, simply by selling Lilith's art. 
Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs, as Lilith's paintings sold anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 apiece, depending on the buyer. Due to this high demand, Joseph and Mary began to live life far above their means, taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. It started off with Joseph burning Marcus with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Slowly, the abuse became worse and more intense, until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. The family was forced to cover up the incident and no charges were filed. This abuse continued for a long time. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life, just as much as breathing or sleeping. After Lilith was diagnosed with a rare bone condition, everything changed. She lost her ability to paint, leading the family into a period of financial hardships. Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former employer kept in touch with her throughout the years. Tension began to build within the family. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. 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 I, I got a bad feeling. <laughs> Nothing? That's it? Can I turn this off now? Nope. I knew it. I knew it. Something was coming. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I'm hiding. That ugly feeling. <laughs> Something was gonna come for me. Please go away. Please go away. And <laughs> her knock. That's just great. No, go away. <laughs> go away. It's still knocking. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to do something. <laughs> I don't like this game. Okay, okay. Nope. Nope. I'm hiding. Nope. <laughs> Why you gotta do this to me? I'm not sure if they actually gave up or if they're pretending to. But I'm not liking this. <laughs> I don't like it. And this TV won't turn off. Eh. Okay. We're good for now. Still gonna hide in here. <laughs> Still hiding. Nope. Nobody nope. <laughs> Alright. Lilith's note number five. My parents gave me the news. So I have this condition called FOP. I'm gonna call it that. Basically it's a condition where my soft tissue gradually turns into bone. They say that eventually I'll lose mo my mobility in my arms, legs, neck, everywhere until I need a caretaker to basically do everything for me right now i feel it in my arms and torso for now i just sort of stay in my bed it hurts to walk around and i can't really exercise or damage my body in any way or else it'll speed up the process i mean i'm only 15 so this is a lot to take in i know that i'll slowly become more and more mobile it's a bit ironic isn't it 
I wish that I could stop painting or that I wouldn't have to anymore, and this was the answer I received. The best they could do was prescribe medication for the pain. A year from now, there's a good chance that I won't be able to walk, and I'll be in a wheelchair or worse. I just hope my family will be stable without my help. I'll be a pretty big burden. The other day, I overheard my parents arguing. My mom brought up the idea of getting a divorce. I feel like this is all my fault, Lilith. Oh, this is just bad, and it's not your fault, lady. Okay, that thing scared the crap of me. I was like, what the hell is that hand? It's not a hand. <laughs> I'm just awfully jumpy. And, uh, I think I went pretty far with this part, so I'm going to stop for now. And, uh, continue later. So, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.